Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which I have a sneaky feeling that there's gonna be quite a few of you guys who are subscribed to the channel that are looking forward to this video because there's been quite a few of you actually requesting this video. And now that we've made it into March, I have decided that it is indeed time to do Le Grand Wardrobe Switchover. So I film these every single time that I do this switchover. I do a switchover twice a year. So I do it when we're in autumn, winter, coming into spring, summer, which is what today is going to be. And then I do it vice versa around about September, sort of October time, when I need to transition back into my autumn winter wardrobe. So the process of this switchover is gonna be pretty much the same as every other time that I've done this. Um, I know there's lots of you that are still gonna watch this video even though you've seen all of the other ones, 10 million of them, because you are organization lovers like I am. So there isn't really gonna be anything new, it's just gonna be that sense of achievement by the end of it. The time, because I know we like to time me, is 10.45 a.m. So, I am about to get started. Sometimes it takes me an entire day and sometimes runs over into the next day. Sometimes I can kind of hammer this out in about four to six hours. I'm hoping today is gonna be the latter of those two options. Now, for those of you who are new here to the channel, you've never seen one of my videos like this before, uh, these here behind me, ta-da, they are my only wardrobes. I don't say only as in, ugh, my only wardrobes, but previously I had other wardrobes the same as this in the other room as well, which used to be full. And over the last few years, I have been minimizing my wardrobe. I know there'll be lots of you that watch this video and go, oh my God, that's a minimal wardrobe. It's not a minimal wardrobe. I have just minimized from what it used to be. So yes, this is basically where all of my clothes are stored. Behind where you guys are currently sat on a tripod, I do have a chest of drawers, but that has intimates, pajamas, socks, um, and one drawer full of hair things. Um, so that's what's in there. And then I have two drawers, which are in the end of our bed. They have my loungewear, so like hoodies and joggers and that kind of thing. Right, so first things first, gonna give you guys a brief tour. So let's have a look behind the first section in here and I can just show you guys what it currently looks like. So in section one on the top rail I currently have blazers and a couple of short jackets over here on the left followed by a mixture of trousers and denim which emerge together from light to dark because that's how I like to have my wardrobe organised. And then right on the end of the rail I just have a couple of slip skirts and a cashmere lounge set which is in that garment bag at the back. Along the bottom rail here as you can see the majority of this rail is knitwear followed by some shirts and then a few basics down there as well. So if I just walk back over here and pan down so you can see what that looks like. There we go. So that's essentially the main part of where all my clothing is. Now if we move into the second wardrobe in here, this is mainly accessories and this is actually the only area where I have a full length rail. So this is where all of my coats are currently stored. For those of you who have followed the channel for a long time, you'll all remember my coats used to be in the spare room and I had about 60 of them. Um, now I think I have less than 20, which is still quite excessive, but I love coats. Um, a little development which has happened over the last, well, probably since the last one of these videos, is that I bought garment bags for my coats. They have a little um, see-through section on here so I can see which coat is which. And then here along the top, down through these sort of shelving cubes, these are all bags. And then in here, these little baskets are my sunglasses. And then there's some little silk scarves in that one. So again, if I pan back on this one, you can see the whole state. I've just had to get a tripod to prop that door open because it doesn't stay open. But yeah, you can kind of see the general gist. So this is now what I have to switch over. Obviously this section here is gonna be the area where you see the most change because of course I have less coats for spring, summer. So this is the section which is gonna look a little bit more different 
than this one. Right, now you guys have had the preview tour. First things first is that I always, as sort of step number one, if you like, go and get myself a rail. If you don't have a rail to do this with, it's okay, it's not a big deal, you can use your bed. I will also be using my bed as you will see, but I just find having a rail is also a good additional little thing to have just for when you're trying to sort of organize things in order or when you've got things that you don't necessarily want to crumple up. So step number one, get the rail. Right, now that I have my rail in place, step number two or it, this is really the first big step of doing my wardrobe changeover is that I remove absolutely everything from within the wardrobe so that I can give it a good clean. Now, because I have so much stuff, what I'm actually gonna do is not remove everything from both sides. I'm just gonna start off with the main side with all the clothing first, do that one, and then move on to the second side. Now that I have done the task of removing everything from within the wardrobe, I now, my next stage is to go through all the piles that I've got here on the bed and also on my rail to the side. And I'm gonna go through each of those piles which I've kind of taken out in categories and decide what is going to remain in my wardrobe for spring, summer. Now it is early March, so there probably will be a few things which I'll keep in there, mainly things like knitwear, which I will keep in the wardrobe, but maybe in a couple of months time as we start to get closer to summer, I may take those out again in kind of another mini wardrobe adjustment, if you will. But for the most part, now I'm gonna do the kind of switch over to the spring summer pieces, which I wanna keep in. So phase two is now complete. This is how this half of my wardrobe is currently looking. So you can kind of see here which items I've decided to keep in for spring, summer. So I've got some basic core blazers there, which as you guys know are a staple of mine. Then I've got jeans and trousers, but I have some more to add from my spring, summer storage tubs, which is gonna be the next step. Um, so I've still got a bit of space up there. Knitwear I've kept like a decent amount out. I've got some a couple of chunkier styles there just for wearing at home and keeping cosy. And then some lighter styles which I would keep in my wardrobe pretty much all year round. You know, sort of basic cashmere pieces which I would either wear over my shoulder or even in summer take out in a bag if I'm going to be in an air conditioned environment or if the evenings were a bit chillier. And then over here on the end, I've got my basics. Again, a few more basics to add to that. And then my shirts. And then on the bed, you can see the remnants of my autumn winter wardrobe, which are gonna be swapped over with the items. I've got some here on the rail as well, swapped over on um, with the items, sorry, that are in the storage tubs, which you guys are gonna see in a moment. Right, so I've just been up in the loft, which is where I keep all of my storage tubs. 
and I've got down a few unfortunately I've lost one I damaged it I dropped it out of the loft hatch by accident but that one's got accessories in I think this has got accessories in this one I've just emptied onto here and it's got a bit of a mixture of trenches and denim and some linen um, but I have done a little bit of sorting up in the loft to save me bringing down unnecessary tubs so there's things like denim shorts, linen shorts, all that kind of thing which I haven't brought down yet because I just just don't really see the point in bringing down linen shorts which I'm very clearly not going to be able to wear just yet so I'm just going to go through the bits it's really not a lot that I have to add in but going to go through this bit and then I think the main change really is going to be footwear and that's footwear and accessories those are the things which I tend to get really excited over and those are in these tubs here. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, because I need to free up some hangers, is I am going to start removing all of the things which I have taken out, like really autumn wintery things, knitwear, etc. I've got some denim over there, blazers and some coats as well. And I'm gonna start to remove them from the hangers, fold them neatly, and then start popping them in this storage tub and then hopefully my other spare storage tub over there. Right, now that I have done that, I've put the majority of the autumn winter stuff that's come out of this wardrobe away. So I freed up considerable amount of hangers. So basically what I'm gonna do now is use those hangers to hang those selected pieces which I've brought down out of the storage tubs. There really isn't a lot and there's actually a little bit of outerwear like trench coats which needs to go into the other wardrobe. So once I've kind of hung these bits that's essentially this one done then I can move on to the other wardrobe and then my shoe wall which is just behind the door here. Okay, this is where we're currently at. So I've got everything in this half, which I need to be in this half. Um, I could probably space out the jeans and trousers a bit more because I don't have many blazers for spring, summer, and I could probably finger space that down there a little bit better. So that is all completely done. So I can close the doors on this side now. I do have, you probably just saw me steaming one of my trench coats. I do have a few more pieces there to steam but I was using my travel steamer and it's just not super practical because the water reservoir is quite small so for big items like this and for multiple items I'm going to use my big steamer which I've got down in the basement so for now I'm going to leave the steaming and then I'll probably have a day or a morning should I say dedicated to steaming so I'm just going to pop these bits away but right now I need to move on to the second half which is in here and I basically need to go through my coats and decide which ones I'm going to keep out for the next couple of months and then rejig my accessories because I've got a bit of a storage situation here going on with accessories because I've got some new ones that I've added and of course I have got, where is it? There, my storage tubs with my spring summer accessories to go in as well so I need to do a little bit of rejiggery in here. And this side is all done. The main thing was rejigging the bags and just having a little bit of a hoover, but I've kept a few coats in here and then I have trench coats, cardigans or long cardigans, a um, few dresses here, mainly occasion. Um, there'll be more dresses to add to that. Like I said, with the linen shorts and skirts and that kind of thing. Um, then on the end it's just my cashmere dressing gown and then all of the bags so along the top I've gone for like really big kind of tote bags 
and then I've tried to keep them to neutral, kind of smaller crossbodies, blacks. This is predominantly a little Chanel shelf apart from the curator bag on the end. That one's a bit of a random mixture and then those are like my high street tote bags on the bottom and then those are like my basket bags and canvas bags, like super summery bags on the bottom there because I have no more space. Um, so yeah, that's all done. Here, um, sunglasses, they never actually go away so they always stay out exactly as they are so nothing has changed there. But yes, pleased with that, that's all done. Now I need to move on to the shoe wall and shoe cabinet out there, which is behind the door. Right, now I have unveiled the shoe wall from behind the curtains. Um, and as you can see, there are areas which are looking a little bit cramped. I would, it, it just drives me crazy. I would never normally store my shoes on top of each other like that but I quickly did that last night because I was just getting stressed out. Um, and as you can see, I just really need to do this switch over because there's lots of these tall boots along the bottom, which I'm just not going to wear now. So um, yeah, this is a drastic changeover that needs to happen. Um, so I've got a couple of items here. So those are my Chanel um, dad sandals and some Gucci loafers, which were in the storage tub with the basket bags. And then I have this storage tub which sadly I lost because it cracked which is full of all my sandals so I am going to do the switch over I think of the majority of those today Right, I finished my shoes. I've just got a couple of or oh, five pairs of boots here to find the boxes for to put those away. But the shoe wall is looking pretty good. So I've got courts and sandals up on the top with a little bit of space to the side, followed by loafers and other such flats like ballet pumps. And then we're going to trainers from here. Obviously, as you can see, I like my trainers. Little converse area there. And then I've got my two most worn and chunkier sandals on the end. A couple of pairs of boots, which I've kept out. And then my long welly boots. And then if we go out here onto the landing, this is my shoe overflow area. So in here, this is where I've got all of my flat sandals because they can easily compact into these little slidey compartments. This one is um, more trainers, other vases which are less frequently worn, and then more trainers again. These are my standard chucks, which I don't wear as much as the chuck 70s, which are on my shelf. Now, in terms of the rest of the bits and bobs that need to be put away, I've got spare hangers here so they can go back into the wardrobes in a minute. As I just said, I've got these um, pairs of boots to find the boxes for and put away. This tub here is full and can be put away. This tub here, um, I've still got espadrilles in there because those for me are super summery. Um, and I find that I don't wear espadrilles as much as flat sandals so those are going to stay in there and then I've just got a couple of pairs of like winter converse um, and then my furry shoe liners in there so those are going to remain sort of relatively easy to reach up in the loft so that I can access those espadrilles when I want to fully switch those out and then I've got all my coats and blazers here on the rail which I need to get a storage tub for to put those in and then they can go back in the loft and the time is let's see it is quarter past three and although I haven't completely finished that is pretty much the shoe wall was the last task of this changeover Right, I am starting to lose light at a rapid rate, so I'm going to kind of sum this up here and give you guys one sort of full overview, and then I can carry on tidying up all the mess that I've made. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I think I've done a pretty good job. My usual system has worked like a charm, 
Um, it's a system which I've been using for years and years now and I will probably never change. Um, so yeah, there we have it. There is the transition from my autumn winter to spring summer 2021 wardrobe. Now obviously I've run through each of these compartments and sections and categories as I've gone along so you guys can see you know what I've kept and why and what I've not and what I've put back into storage and um, so this is it now stay tuned to the channel because I am going to be doing some more spring wardrobe videos so things like spring staples um, also sharing with you guys some of the new investment purchases that I've made for my kind of core wardrobe and for my spring wardrobe in general so yes thank you as always for watching and I will see you guys next time <laughs>